the floods that hit the country last month has worsened the country's already fragile situation. This report has more. Entire families in Yemen are facing hunger every day, and millions of internally displaced people are facing deteriorating conditions as the country's decade-long crisis in climate change worsen. New data released by the UN Refugee Agency has revealed. The UN's update on monitoring the protection of internally displaced people in Yemen paints a grim picture of the conditions affecting IDPs and host communities in the country. Among the households surveyed, many of whom reside in formal and informal IDP sites, 85% are unable to meet their daily food needs, with many resorting to harsh coping mechanisms such as reducing meal sizes or skipping meals altogether. The UNHCR described the statistics as a stark reality, as entire families face hunger almost every day. More than 51% of households surveyed had at least one child without a birth certificate, and 70% had family members without national ID cards. Without these crucial documents, families are cut off from access to basic services education and their basic rights, exacerbating their vulnerability and hampering their ability to rebuild their lives. The UNHCR stressed that despite efforts to improve living conditions, the majority of displaced families do not feel safe to return to their homes due to ongoing instability, lack of livelihood opportunities, and risks such as landmines. Yemen, which remains one of the world's worst humanitarian crises, faces severe challenges. Even as attention shifts to other global emergencies, UN data says, as currently 18.2 million people in the country, including 4.5 million internally displaced persons, are in need of urgent humanitarian assistance. This includes more than 60,000 refugees and asylum seekers, mostly from Somalia and Ethiopia. UNHCR stressed the need for more systematic and sustained global support for countries like Yemen. Over the past month, the floods have killed 97 people, injuring many others, affecting more than 56,000 homes and 20 governorates, and displaced more than 1,000 families. The worst hit areas include Al Hudaydah, Hajjah, Al Tawil, and Marib, with damaged roads isolating affected areas and hampering rescue operations. The disaster has exacerbated the suffering of millions. The Commission notes, as vital infrastructure has been destroyed, shelters washed away, Farmland submerged and unexploded ordnance discovered by the flaws poses additional threats to civilians and humanitarian workers.